It is incredibly warm right here. I'm surprised you're not you're not melting. In fact, I'm very warm, but I what I'm sort of amazed by is they've done the Emmys now for decades, and I know where you're going. You would think that there was some afterwards, like, oh, that was good, but what could we do better? Okay. Maybe not create a giant bottleneck where people have to bake in the sun and there's some security person screaming at them and the press just has to sit here and bake and, like, just get sunburnt. Like, it seems like, it seems like that's maybe something they could think about. Like, oh, you know what, that might make a better Emmys next year. Yeah. So maybe you have a couple suggestions for oh, the. I've end. got, I've got many. They could probably do this whole show in 30 minutes, and then we could have a giant pool party afterwards. Yeah. You guys are up for multiple nominations um, today with the Daily Show. Talk to me about how that feels. Um, it's very cool. We won, we won last week for writing, which uh, was nice just on a personal level because that means I get a trophy. Um, and then yeah, I think for show, uh, it's. I think this is like a, this may be like a, a if we win it could be like a record breaking number for us. I'm not sure. Uh, and so that's that's kind of nice to be part of something that has consistently been so uh, appreciated by the people who vote for these things and and hopefully appreciated by people outside of that as well. So how did you enjoy RNC DNC coverage? I'll tell you a little secret. I was not there. I, I wasn't able to go. I was actually shooting a movie, and so I was given some time off to go do that. Now tell me, do you have a favorite television show of all time, other than The Daily Show, of course? A favorite television show of all time. I mean, I remember as a kid, I would watch, like, I Love Lucy and Sanford and Son with my grandmother, and so those were always, like, she loved those, and I, in return, really loved those. And uh, I, yeah, like, I love some of those old shows from the 70s. I watched the Jeffersons a bit as a kid. My grandmother would sometimes watch that, uh, but we would watch Barney Miller a lot. Like Barney Miller was great. Like it was just like I think I wanted to be a cop because I watched Barney Miller, and clearly it worked because I'm now a police officer, and it's been great. And uh, you wrote yourself a police officer, right? No, no. I just go around trying to solve crimes. I don't have a badge. Uh, I'm hoping that if I do a good enough job and I make enough arrests. I'm hoping that the police will recognize my talent and just kind of like... Adopt you onto the force? Yeah, just grandfather me in. Like, just kind of throw me a badge. Um, I could see that. Yeah, you know, and give me a gun, too. I'm going to need one of those right now. Because that wouldn't be dangerous or, you know, a lawsuit waiting to happen or anything. Not if they make me a cop. No. No, that would make it easier. Um, it's a lot harder going up and down the streets trying to stop shoplifters with a bow and arrow, which is how I've been doing it now. And, yeah... Did you have a celebrity crush, or excuse me, a television crush when you were growing up? I loved like Mrs. Huxtable and Marianne from Gilligan's Island, and then like uh, I loved like Karen Parsons from The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Hillary, uh, Jasmine Guy. Like there's so many people that like I yeah my whole teen years were just a bunch of frustrated sexual energy at every woman I saw on television. So like, I'm sure there was like a lady in an orange juice commercial that I was crazy about. So yeah, there are too many to name.